Open your eyes and look at all the different colors you see around you. We are lucky that we are able to see and read, but have you ever wondered what makes us see? Well, let's have a look. Welcome to this week's edition of Syllabus I Discover, a free bi-weekly educational supplement which ties into the South African CAPS curriculum. Today, we will learn about vision. Firstly, our eyes are made up of different parts. Some parts protect the eye and other parts are in charge of the vision. The parts that protect the eye are the eyebrows, eyelids, the eyelashes, and the lacrimal glands. This is the human eye up close. The eye is like a camera. The clear front surface is called the cornea. This part of the eye acts as the camera lenses. You can say that this is the window that lets light get into the eye. The next part of the eye is the iris, which is a thin circular structure in the eye. This works like a camera shutter, deciding what should be the amount of light entering the eye. It passes the light rays to the back of the eye called the pupil. The pupil appears as a black hole at the center of the iris. It is the opening to which light enters the eye. Depending on the amount of light, the iris stretches and contracts the pupil, just how the aperture of a camera works. Finally, the lens of the eye, which is just behind the pupil, focuses and defocuses depending on how far the object is from your eye. Light passes through the lens and reaches the retina. This acts as an image sensor of a digital camera. It converts the light that you take in into electronic signals. Then the optic nerve of the eye transmits the electronic signals to the brain, which lets you finally see an object. Let's talk about pixels. What are pixels? Pixels are the smallest elements in pictures. They are small little dots that make our TV, computer, and phone screens. The number of pixels used is called the resolution. The higher the pixel count, the better the picture. The original Pac-Man game had a resolution of 224 by 288 pixels. Now we have screens with way more pixels. We have four main resolutions. Standard definition, high definition, full high definition, and ultra high definition. When we talk about screens being 480p and 1080p, we're talking about the pixels. A 1080p screen is 1920p wide, and that means there are over 2 million pixels. Because 1080 pixels multiplied by 1920 pixels will equal 2,073,000 pixels. Have you ever heard of megapixels? One megapixel is equal to a million pixels. The more pixels, the better the picture. The human eye has a resolution of 576 megapixels. The eagle's eye is one of the strongest in the animal kingdom, and it has been estimated that their average eyesight is four to eight times higher than the human eye. That is a lot of megapixels. Pixels might be small, but if you have enough of them, they can show amazing things. Earlier, we mentioned the word resolution. What is it? It refers to the quality of an image, which is made up of pixels. It is used to describe the fine detail of the image and depends on the amount of light, the size of the digital sensors, and how far away one is when viewing it. Resolution is also determined by how many pixels are used in the construction of an image. This is called spatial resolution. 
If something on a screen goes out of focus, the number of pixels in the video frame stays the same, but the image loses detail to the eye. A camera image can't be compared to human vision because there are several problems with comparing human vision to a digital image. For example, a digital camera snaps a single image in one go, whereas our eyes are constantly moving about. And the brain must make sense of a stream of information to form what we call vision. The image created by the eye alone during a single glance is not the image which we interpret. Unlike a camera, we've got stuff obstructing our field of vision. For example, we are always looking at our own nose. Luckily, our brain processes these factors out as they're not relevant and don't matter. We also have blind spots where the optic nerve meets up with the retina. And no visual info is received due to no photoreceptors in this area. You wouldn't expect this from a camera. Additionally, humans can have refractive errors such as myopia and hyperopia. It's also possible for one to have tetrachromacy, which means that they are able to see more color varieties than the average person. Our fovea is another factor which makes it difficult to compare human vision to a digital image. The fovea is the part of your retina that provides the clearest vision. It receives light from the central two degrees of your field of view, which is roughly the area covered by both of your thumbs when held at arm's length away. Color vision and 20-20 vision are only possible within that small area. Our eyes are constantly moving, and our brain fills in the details which merge together this visual information and makes guesses to form images which make sense. Therefore, what we see is a processed image. According to scientist and photographer Roger M. Clark at Clark Vision, a screen would have to have a density of 576 megapixels in order to encompass our entire field of view. Nevertheless, there is a problem with this question because our eyes work differently to cameras. Our eyes move about rapidly, taking in lots of visual information, which then gets processed into detailed images by the brain. The brain combines what your two eyes see to increase the resolution. Assembling a higher resolution image than the photoreceptors in the retina can do alone. Our eyes do not digest all visual information equally. We only digest the information in our fovea. Therefore, the image on a 576 megapixel screen would be too detailed for us to interpret. We can see about 7 megapixels in our fovea range. It's been roughly estimated that the rest of our field of view would only need one megapixel more information to render an image. So, in conclusion, you simply cannot compare human vision to a digital image, as the human eye does not contain pixels. Our visual system is different to that of a camera. As humans, what we see is a picture which we put together with our eyes and brain, and this is not necessarily the reality.